Hello to you. My name is Maria Kondzielska and this is Poland Daily Culture. And we are still talking about the women in the Royal Castle in Warsaw. And here with me is Alicja Jakubowska, the curator of the paintings. I would say also woman in the castle. Thank you very much for being with us. Welcome. And we're talking about the most influential women here, connected to this place, but also devoted to this place. So who was Constancia Czartoryska? Because after all, she was not a queen or a king, but she was kind of influential. Yeah. So we discussed uh, the life of Queen Hedwig and of Queen Anna, and now Constancia uh, from the Czartoryski family. Actually, she was not a queen, she was not a ruler, but she was extremely important. So again, just like with uh, the women we've discussed, with the queens, uh, her marriage was political. Um, she was married to a general um, from Poniatowski family, and their marriage was planned to join those two noble, very important families to give them even greater strength and in order to make them even more influential in political life of Poland at that time. So uh, she was um, like the head of uh, Czartoryski family actually because she was very intelligent and she uh, was um, a woman who dis had influence on many decisions. She raised several children and um, she was a mother of King of Poland, Stanisław August, and um, another uh, of her sons was uh, promoted to be Archbishop then Primate of Poland. So she was extremely successful uh, in her actions, in her, in her doings. And, um, so even though it was a political marriage with the general, um, they had seven children, at least seven alive. Yeah, so um, again, this is very important that she, she had to be also um, physically um, str uh, strong because uh, women um, would, would very often die at childbirth. And she gave birth to, to seven children and all of them survived. Uh, at least uh, into their, their um, uh, adult older, life, uh, exactly. Yeah. And also, uh, she lived for many years. She lived until eight years old. So that's incredible for anyone in those times. Absolutely. So um, it was not uh, for the medicine at that time because it was like there was no, of course, like um, health ministry or our. Uh, in, in, in modern meaning, no healthcare system. So if, um, if a man or woman was not strong enough, they unfortunately died of diseases and... and um, so she was a uncurable. mother of the last king of Poland, a person very much devoted to this place. So Stanisław August Poniatowski, who was the founder also of most the art pieces. But her portrait, which we can see here, um, when it was made and what for? So uh, that portrait was actually painted after her death. Um, and um, this, is, this was to remind her influence. Um, we know that her children uh, were very grateful uh, for the way she, she raised them. She cared for their education. Uh, she had um, like personal impact. She, um, which was um, not very common. I mean, she, she really cared for, for what they were learning, who was, um, who was uh, teaching them, etc. cetera. Um, and um, she was uh, really focused on, uh, on her children and she was also of a very strong character. They called her even like um, a, a, a storm cloud. It is a very, a very, you know, uh, a very strong opinion. But despite um, that, um, her her children truly, truly loved her, and uh, 
this is why King uh, Stanislav August wanted to commemorate her forever. So in that room now, which uh, is an old, uh, the old audience room, we have portraits of his um, parents, uh, his father and his mother. Uh, they, are, they were equally important for him and uh, their portraits are here on the both sides of the, of the throne. He even said that he preferred her company from other members of the family. Yes, which is really surprising because um, <clears throat> how can you tell? Well, uh, he was he was a king. He he was surrounded by um, many intellectuals and artists and people who were really who could provide a really great company. But then he he considered her so wise, and uh, that that it was really um, for him. That what he, what he needed. I mean, wise company, and he could rely on her. That that was important. And just going back to the portrait, um, so the the wig she has with her, uh, it's it's in her time as she used to look. Yeah. But the dress is more modern. Yes, absolutely. This is um, well, funny enough. Yes, uh, her her hairstyle is different. Uh, and then, then the dress she's wearing. But it was, again, very common at that time that um, some women who were portrayed, um, after several years, would, um, would insist on changing their hairstyle according to um, current fashion or to remodel their dress. And um, this was also the case with that portrait. So um, it was slightly modernized because as, as we said, it was painted um, several years after her death. So, you know, just to, to, to make reference to, to, to her look and on the other hand, to, to make her like alive and being here. So her son, Stanisław August Poniatowski, cared for her look even after her death. Absolutely. And we can admire her portrait today. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm very happy that it is here in the Royal Castle in Warsaw and we can still observe it, admire it and learn about such important and influential women of those times. And I do hope that's an inspiration for you. Seven children created a great familia which ruled Poland for many years and also being the right hand of a king. That's pretty impressive. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.